Uh, welcome back. Let's start session three. So session three is uh, hands-on. So uh, I will explain about how to uh, make map data based on OpenSmart. Okay, I will share my screen. Hey, ish, ish. Okay, browser. Street map. So this is open map like this. Okay, that is a world map, and uh, everyone can edit this data. Uh, and uh, if you don't have open map account, you have to make. Uh, new account like ah, sorry uh, this uh, this is uh, in Japanese mode ne? maybe uh, you can log in uh, you can open the openstreetmap.org site uh, and then you can check the uh, right so right upper right corner you can find uh, the sign in uh, page and uh, you have to add your mail address two times and you have to define the, your account name and uh, you have to add uh, your password uh, two times and then you can uh, submit and uh, after that you have to confirm the OpenSmap license uh, already I said uh, open database license is a default license. And if you want to change the public domain, a more freedom license. So you can check the public domain check. And uh, after that, OpenSmap uh, account server will send a confirmation mail into uh, to your mail account. And please confirm uh, that mail. And uh, that mail has a confirmation link. And uh, you, you have to click that uh, confirmation link and after that, uh, your account will uh, make a uh, official account. Yes. And already I have the uh, account. So I will log in my account like this. Login this. Okay. And wait a moment, I will change the, my uh, language setting. Uh, language setting, yes. Uh, Japanese, I can use Japanese mode, English mode, and uh, Portuguese in Brazil. Okay, change. Okay, this is uh, information will change in English. Okay, let's start. First, uh, you have to uh, uh, move your home ground, hometown. So uh, you, you join to the each country, please uh, zoom in uh, your hometown like this. I'm living in Japan and I'm living in west side of Tokyo. Let's see. Yes. Like this. Maybe. Uh, yes, 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 yes. This is uh, my hometown area. Okay. After that, please click uh, upper left corner. Uh, you can find edit button, edit button here. And please click this button, edit. And please wait a few uh, seconds. Maybe, yes, uh, this mapping editor will come. This mapping editor, the name is ID editor, ID editor. And you can zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. So, 
background imagery provided from uh, Microsoft Bing or Max or Mapbox or something. Please check uh, right uh, functions button, background settings. And you can change background imagery, Bing error imagery, as ESRI provided word imagery, and Mapbox and Maxa. So, and uh, sometimes each country has a uh, surveying institute. So, uh, you know, in Japan, we have the GSI. GSI provided the uh, uh, seamless error photo data like this. So, please compare which background imagery is useful. And oh, I think this area, Ezri's data is uh, very good. And Japan, uh, very old. Uh, Japan GSI's seamless photo is uh, very good. Mm, which one is better? And uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I choice uh, Japan GSI. Maybe you can choose uh, Bing, ESRI, Mapbox, and Maxa. So please compare and please choose uh, better uh, background image. Okay, and please zoom in. And uh, if you find a uh, good building and there's no data, so you can add new building data. So, okay, let's click. Uh, you can choose uh, three types of object features, point data, line data, and area as a polygon data. So uh, if we, uh, so to this time we will add uh, building data as polygon. So you can choose, you have to choose area, area. And then you can click uh, coders, click, click. Click, 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 click. Last uh, corner, uh, we should add double click, double click. And uh, general building shapes is a square, a rectangle, or a circle. So uh, if uh, your uh, building data as an example, like this, uh, some skew. So, but uh, real or buildings, they has a square or uh, uh, rectangle. You can use uh, right click menu and square uh, function. So automatically this shape will change to square like this. So this is a very beautiful map shapes. And so recently, this shapes ha doesn't have the attribution data. So uh, just only uh, one polygon. Uh, and you have to define uh, this attribution at the right border, uh, right bar. Uh, edit feature uh, area. So you can change feature type from area to building. building. And building, uh, the Opus map has uh, uh, many types of building. So if you want to confirm, so building feature uh, holder can show the general building, houses, apartment building, garage, retail building, commercial building, industrial building, and residential building. So this time I found, and I, I know this uh, building is a house. So uh, if you find house, you should uh, choose house. And if you uh, find another uh, types, you can choose. Anyway, if, cho if you choose uh, building uh, attribution, the polygon color will change to red color. Yeah. Okay. And then, so uh, you have to upload this building shapes data. Uh, with this save button, save button. Press one click. And uh, after that, you have to add change set comment, change set comment. So in your language, uh, in Japanese, in English, in your uh, local language, that is no problem. Uh, someone uh, showed uh, your comment, okay, uh, he or she 
you uh, someone added this data for any purpose or something. So uh, this is uh, this is JICA JICA's training. And please add hashtag. Uh, uh, GSI JICA training. Like this, hashtag. Okay. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh. Oh, hashtag, yes, sorry. Hashtag, you, you should choose hashtag. And GSI JICA, GSI JICA training. Ah, oh, GSI, GSI, GIS, GSI. Yes. GSI JICA training. Courses. Aerial imagery, <coughs> aerial imagery, like this. You can choose hashtag and change, uh, you have to add uh, just one message and sources uh, we are using aerial imagery and upload. Like this, okay. Just now you published your uh, building data into the Opus map. And please continue the uh, same works area and click, click, click. And square and houses area. Square houses and save. Jaika trade. This is Jaika training. I will copy, copy, and hashtag GSI Jaika training. G Mata GS GSI. <laughs> Many times I missed GSI JICA training. Okay. And sources area photo data. Data. Okay. Upload. And like this. So if you understand, maybe you should add uh, 10 or 20, 20. So buildings and just one save. So that is a very effective. So, and area. Please continue your in your area, and uh, yes. I will add 10 building uh, houses. Nine. 
then okay please check now i added 10 buildings and save button has a number that number means uh, 10 object so just one time i save and uh, jai, this is Jaigal training and hashtag is uh, uh, GSI Jaika training hashtag. Okay. And sources means area imagery upload. Okay, like this. I added <coughs> those buildings. And uh, okay, I will share some tips. You can change more faster uh, mappers. So example, uh, if you want to add this uh, building as a house or something, so uh, first you can overlay your mouse overlay, uh, mouse over. Uh, so dialog will appear. So and shortcut key is three. So that means if you want to area, you can um, type the just three on the, your key uh, keyboard. Just three, like this. So uh, very quickly. So uh, I can choose the area button and click, 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 double click, and then. You can mouse over on the square button, a square function, shortcut key is Q. So I will add, uh, I will type uh, shortcut key Q, like this, Q. Yes, very speed, speedy. And area is house, like this. One more, uh, shortcut key, shortcut key three, click, click, click. Click, click, click. And shortcut key Q. And house like this. Three, two, house like this. And one more uh, tips. So if you want to add the same attribution, same if same shapes so uh, you can copy like this when uh, you want to copy you have to uh, choose the, just one uh, polygon click and also uh, you can use a shortcut key control c or uh, command c and uh, control v as paste or command v is paste same uh, shapes will appear and you can uh, offset uh, and you can choose just one click here. Control V here, here. And you can modify like this. Here, here. Can modify. Shortcut Q. Because it's very easy and very fast. And if you want to add uh, vertex, if you want to add a new uh, point, so you can drag the, uh, this center of uh, each node. So you can find a triangle icon. So, and you can offset, you can move. Uh, like this, like this. Yes, very easy. Okay. 
and I will if you have you mistakes you can do the uh, undo uh, using by the uh, command Z so undo button you can back and sometimes uh, you connect the belong uh, like this the poly two polygons so this situation is no good so you have to divide this position is disconnect okay like this Okay. <laughs> hey, I added about 21 uh, object. Save. Hashtag. Jaika training training. And so say the error photo data, major error, immediately upload. I will add more buildings. We, I made uh, general shapes and copy, paste, 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 paste. Hey, upload. Start. Jaika training. Source. Very majorly. Okay, that's all. And so already uh, we published our data as a building data. So uh, maybe the data will uh, appear. Uh, the general open map, uh, map data. And also those data related to example map box or Pokemon Go or other uh, big maps, upper maps, the Facebook maps. The data will appear on the each mapping platform. Please back to OpenStreetMap general uh, mapper uh, viewer 
please click uh, upper right, uh, so upper left corner. You can find the OpenSmap icon logo. You can click and uh, maybe you can back to uh, from you can back from editor mode to viewer mode. And uh, please reload uh, your web browser. Reload maybe your map data. You map data will appear like this. So, and uh, please keep uh, your uh, mapping uh, activity in your hometown. So maybe uh, open map data will uh, implement. And sometimes if you want to add uh, load data, so you can change a similar uh, uh, process. Uh, I can find example. Oh, this is, I found a new load like this. So I think this is a private load or yes. Uh, so uh, you can add as line. And you can connect from here to here, here, like this. And you can choose that uh, feature types. I think private road, service road is like this. If you uh, want to add uh, pa uh, example highway or national road, you can choose. Oh, I found another one. Line and connect to here, service road. And this is a parking lot band. So I think here is a parking lot. This parking. Parking, parking lot. And uh, you can add uh, parking lot. Uh, uh, service air uh, line like this, I think, I guess. Line is a parking. Uh, I think parking uh, ISO. Yes, this one. Oh, name. yes, this is the same situation. Parking lot. And this is the entrance. Uh, this okay. I think that's all. Mm. Like this. GSI Jika Training. Both imagery abroad. That's all. Yes, that is a general open spot editing. And if you want to add more uh, features, you can find, you can confirm the help menu and uh, you you have to uh, open the open stream up wiki wiki so this wiki has a lot of information and uh, you can choose uh, map features map features map features page uh, can provide uh, and uh, many information about the uh, types of features. Maybe reading now. So road building and uh, airway amenity barrier or emergency 
and use uh, power shops. Yes. So, and uh, each uh, key and value, uh, this page has a sample photo and uh, how to add, how to edit those data. So, uh, yes, please check this map features. Yes. If you have some questions, so already I said, please uh, contact uh, Twitter hashtag and I can reply your question. So, and uh, yes, session one and session two is so uh, little, so uh, uh, over the uh, 40 minutes. So uh, session three and session four, I will uh, choice the just one, uh, just 30 minutes. So totally the same. Anyway, uh, please keep uh, your editing in your hometown. And the next session, session four, I will explain about how to use drone imagery based on open area map and how to trace this data using by tile, TMS tiled map protocol. Okay, see you next session, bye.